Well, Gary, it's uh, relegation confirmed today. Uh, first of all, how are you feeling? Uh, sad, angry, all them emotions in one. Um, yeah, it's a sad day for the, for the football clubs, that's for sure. And it's, we spoke to Mentz briefly just before this, and you said it's, it's not today, it's, it's the course of the season. It's not, it's not what happened today, it's what's happened over God knows how many months now. But um, the run of form has cost us dear um, for whatever reason or whatever factors behind it. That's the reason why today is a, a sad day for the football club. And how you feel feeling personally, it must must hurt for you to, yeah, to have that on your CV, yeah, yeah. Just personally and, and and you love the club as well, so it must yeah. hurt you. Yeah, I'll take yeah. my blame and the responsibility on my side, of course I do. Um, it's a results based business and uh, the results haven't been good enough, it's as simple as that. What has happened though Gary, because this time last year we were eyeing up for a playoff run, it must just be such a fall from grace to have, have such a team that we have and then we were sitting here now with a team that's been relegated. Well you've seen what's happened during the course of the season. You know, there's no. <laughs> we overachieved in them two years. We've underachieved this year, and a lot of factors behind it. One being injuries have crippled us during the course of the season. You then get players back fit, but they're not match fit. But there's a lot of factors behind where we are and what's happened. The squad that's in the second half season certainly put in good performances almost every week, but. Is it the case that when, when these players have, have joined the group, they're joining the group that's already quite down, the morale's low, the confidence is low, and it's, maybe that's been a factor in why we haven't been able to get results when we have played well? Well, you wouldn't think that on the training ground. Um, the atmosphere is very, very good. Um, performances in recent games uh, have been very, very good. But it's a results-based business, and the results haven't been good enough. Is there any parts of the season where you can pinpoint and you, and you think... That that's sending us in this direction. It's quite early on in the season, um, things didn't go our way, um, and it's just uh, resulted in you know a number of things again not happening for us or not being put in place. It's uh, cost us now. What, like a snowball effect, sort of. Yeah, gets when thing, yeah, when things are, are not going your way, that's what happens. You know, um, you can you can say luck, whatever you want to say, but ultimately, um, what's happened today is not regard about today. It's about what's happened through throughout uh, the season, from day one of pre-season to today, which has resulted in what's happened. At start of the season, you'd ask that the fans were a bit more patient with this group. Did, did you think the squad assembled would be fighting for relegation throughout the season at all? No, no, I didn't. Not at the beginning. Uh, you can question a lot of things, you know, recruitment, you know, players haven't performed well enough, injuries, etc., uh, that go along with the playing side of things, and um, you know, I have to take responsibility for that. And just going to today's game, how, how do you think today's game went? We did need the win anyway, didn't we, to keep ourselves alive? Yeah, it, look, if you take your chances, the game is a different game. But it was only a matter of time before they scored second half. It was, uh, I was surprised they didn't score earlier. Um, and it was coming. It was as simple as that. But um, it's a factor as well. We haven't scored enough goals this season. We've let in too many. Uh, you don't get loads of chances at this level, but when they're there, you have to take them. And again today, we've created chances and not taken them, and the outcome is uh, we don't win a football match. When there's three games left this season, um, how hard it would it be to, to motivate a team that's, that's relegated with, with these games to play left? It's going to be it's massive. It's going to be really, really difficult, really difficult. But um, there's pride. Um, they, they have to go out and perform and. We have to uh, we have to do the best we can in the remaining fixtures. And looking ahead to next season, are there any, um, I guess, shoots of hope? I guess that for fans to look at for next season. Yeah, it's too early. The whistle was blown about 20 minutes ago, so uh, not at this moment in time. Okay. Well, thank you for your time. Guys. Thank you. Thank you.